So here I am in Melbourne, Victoria, and just listened to the latest press conference from Mark McGowan, the West Australian Premier, and I used to live in WA, I think most of you know that. Like, do, do people in WA not listen past Mark McGowan? Do they just believe him? I can't believe the rubbish that he spins in his press conferences. He's letting people think that it's not a one-in-a-hundred-year pandemic, it's a once-in-a-two-hundred-year pandemic now, and Omicron is much more deadly, and that everybody in the eastern states is locked down, and schools are closed, and we're fighting for food, and none of the shops in the city are open, and so therefore, as none of the shops in the city are open, businesses are closing down and losing a lot of money. Like, why are you people in Perth believing this absolute goose? No shops in the city are closed. There are no restrictions here now, apart from having to wear a mask in certain situations. We can travel overseas. We can go to the cinema. We can go to clubs. We can we can do anything we goddamn like. And the other thing Mark McGowan keeps reporting in Western Australia is that hundreds, if not thousands of people are dying in the Eastern States. And that simply is not true. He is manipulating the figures extremely badly. As an example, today there was a figure in Victoria of 35 people that had died. Mark McGowan said that this is a daily thing. 35 people have died every day in Victoria, and this is why we can't open our borders. That 35 figure that was given was through a number of different months, the system catching up because nursing homes, for example, have a different system and it takes a while to process. So it was many, many, many months put together, and the information finally released. Seriously, WA, like, the only reason why he's keeping you closed, and it comes down to this, he doesn't want the Bogans of Perth to go to Bali and spend all their money over there. He would prefer you to stay in WA because nobody wants to visit that shithole of a place, and he wants to keep your money there. It is the North Korea of Australia Western Australia, and it does make me mad because it is Western Australia that's holding the rest of the country back. Over here, we can travel overseas. We can do what we like. We, we have followed all the rules, and we have our life back. Western Australia, you are being bluffed, and you are being conned, and I've got no idea why you believe it. And I know you all believe it because my family is still in Perth, and I have friends in Perth, and they all believe it as well. It is an absolute manipulation and a lie what Mark McGowan and his team throw out at press conferences. And if you believe it, fool you. For the rest of the world, Omicron. Ain't we lucky that that happened? Because it's proven that, yes, we might be all getting Omicron, but there's very few people getting sick or dying from it as life returns back to normal. Western Australia... It's about time that you left 1977 and caught up with the rest of the world. It's 2022. Stop believing that goose of a premier over there. Because seriously, he's full of shit.